Okay. We can see here I have Amazon.com open. I'm selecting books and I'm going to do a search for history. And basically brings up a big list of books here. You can see them all here. Scroll down, a whole list of books. And because we're on the list of books, Zotero here has put in a little yellow folder. And if I click that yellow folder, it shows me the 12 books which are visible on that page. And I can choose which items I want to add to my Zotero. For example, these three. And when I click OK, the saving them option comes up to save them to my library. Or I can choose which individual folder I want them to go in. Now I'm going to put them in the ABC1 folder I made in the last video. But this means that these items will go in this folder and they will go in my library. So they're more useful that I can put them straight into the folder. I don't need to drag and drop them later. So I click done. I can go back to my Zotero. Here's the ABC folder and here's the three books that I actually added. Now, in a similar way, this works on Google Books as well. So if I put in a search here for Google Books and brings me up a list of books. This time I've done a search for Howard Zinn. And again, Google Books has got the little folder icon. Ah, so this one's came up as an error. OK, no problem. Sometimes you get an error with this depending on the latest version of Chrome, the latest version of Zotero. If that happens, then the individual book we can just open up the individual book we want. And here's the book here in my Google Books. If I like the book, I can add it to my library and choose a bookshelf that I want to put in my Google Books library. It will save it there for me. And of course, here, the Zotero icon, because I'm looking at one individual book, it's changed that to a book icon and I can click saving to ABC1 or any other folder I like. So I'm gonna save that there. Yep. And that should also, People's History of the United States, Howard Zinn, is also added here to my Zotero. Now, in Zotero, when we're adding books from Amazon or Google Books, the one thing we need to check is sometimes the place is missing. So in this case, we would then have a look to see Routledge, London and New York. We could go back in here and manually add London and New York so we have the place. Let's check the other ones. This one has added it. Uh, this one's added it. This one's added it. And this one doesn't. So I would need to go in to find the book, WH Allen, add in the place. And then I'm good to oh, make that a small O. And then we're good to go. So that's how we add books from Google Books and Amazon.com into our Zotero.